guys, welcome back to my channel. So for those of you who don't know me, my name is Katya. I hope you guys had beautiful holidays, even among this craziness that we are living right now. I am wishing you all a happy new year filled with so much love and happiness, inner peace, and hopefully this new year will bring only good things. For this video, I thought it would be fun since a lot of you have been asking me to do a, another thrift flip. I thought I would do three pieces and thrift flip them, just come up with a creative way of changing them up uh, so that they go better in my home and they just have more of my aesthetic. Before we get into this video, I just want to take the time to mention that today's sponsorship is by True Earth. I'm so happy when they reached out to me because I absolutely love their company. They are Vancouver based in Canada and I love their products. A lot of you have asked me how I go about cleaning my thrift finds. What I love about True Earth is they are actually an eco-friendly laundry strip and I just think it's a less wasteful way of doing your laundry. And I just love how they are changing the way ethical consumers do their laundry. It just makes laundry for me anyway. It makes it a lot easier and just less messy. It takes up a lot less space on my dryer or washer. So you just tear off a piece, put that equal strip into the washing machine, and that is it, guys. No mess, no fuss. It's that easy. I am one of those people that hate doing laundry, so the best part, if it can be quick and easy, it's a plus. What's great about True Earth is they actually have been on a mission to eliminate the single use of plastics that are ending up in landfills and in oceans. Because they are so small in size and compressed, you're actually saving 94% on carbon emission during transport, which is so much better for the environment. And what I love, and I think is the most important thing for me, and you guys know, I love giving back and the fact that this company actually donates some of their profits to different charities is a plus for me. They're super sweet. They're offering you guys a discount code. So I will link that all down below for you. Also, their packaging is compostable too. We love that. It's just an easier way of doing laundry and it's just a better way for the environment. So without further ado, we're going to jump into the first thrift flip. I actually found these two couches. And the reason why I was looking for couches was actually, I told you guys that downstairs I'm creating a whole gym and I wanted to create a seating area. And so I was looking for, I guess, two little sofas. I didn't want a big, huge sofa because there's not enough room. So I wanted a seating area, but without it taking up so much space. So when I saw these two couches, I just loved the shape of them. I thought there was potential. I thought that they were great as is. I liked that there was a bit of a worn leather look to them, but I just didn't think that they were in the right direction of the look I was going for. So I thought I would do a whole reupholstering thing. It was actually my first time reupholstering couches which was definitely a process and I definitely learned a lot. I don't have a sewing machine yet, so I actually had to sew everything by hand and just figure out how I wanted to put all the pieces together so that it does look as flawless and seamless as possible. I'm super happy about how they turned out. I obviously wanted to go into the light, bright feel. I did love the leather and at first I was actually thinking of keeping them as is and just restaining them and just making them look a little bit more polished. But after much thought, I was like, no, I want them light. I didn't want them dark. Um, yeah, I'm happy about how they turned out. I paid $150 for each. So it came out to $300, which was a little on the pricey side. And then I had to pay for the fabric. So the total cost was a little bit more on the higher end that I would have liked to have paid for. But still, they're exactly what I wanted. And they just fit perfectly in that space. So I'm super happy and I'm happy I ended up getting them anyway. I'm gonna put a clip in and show you guys the whole process. Let's jump right into it.
these. I had found these bamboo. I believe that you put them in the garden so that the vine can grow on them. What I saw when I saw them, I was actually looking for a wall hanging to go above my bed. And so I needed something on the long and I needed something on the narrow. My bed is actually a California king, so it is huge. And I didn't want to put frames. I just wanted something a little bit more narrow since my headboard was very tall. So when I saw these bamboo sticks, my creative brain started working and then I had seen potential with them. So I wanted to create this whole boho wall hanging. I wanted to use beads and obviously tassels and seashells. I'm super happy about how it turned out. I couldn't be happier. To be honest, it took a lot longer than I thought with this whole wall hanging. There's one thing I'm going to mention to you. I am someone that is very perfectionist, but I also like to get things done that day. So when I'm creating a whole DIY, I am so not patient to wait for a few days. I gotta get it done that day. I have to see the end result. So this was actually very challenging for me. It took three days to finish it. I tried my very best, but it was just so much work. I'm actually gonna be doing a room makeover. So I'm gonna show you how my room looks. I think it looks perfect there. And it just fits with the whole room vibe. So I'm gonna jump into this whole video. Enjoy guys.
piece. It's not the most extravagant one, but I thought I would still put it in this video. I actually found this box a few months ago and I paid $3 for it. So when I saw it, I saw potential. I thought it would be the perfect little trinket box or jewelry box or, you know, just a storage box to put on a shelf or even on a desk or dresser. I just thought I would spruce it up a little bit, making it a little bit more expensive looking. I actually end up using placemats. It might not show, but I end up using placemats. It's sort of like um, a wicker, not wicker, but it has this sort of cane effect, but much more woven closer together. I had seen these at the dollar store and I was like, one day I'm going to use these because I see potential with them and I actually end up getting to use them, which is so good. But anyway, so I'm happy about how my box turned out. I hope you guys love it as much as I do. We are going to jump into the whole process and enjoy. enjoyed this video comment down below let me know which one was your favorite i would love to hear it thank you so much for all your thumbs up your comments and i know that i can't answer each and every one of them but i do read them all and i'm so appreciative i was thinking of maybe doing a video answering some of your questions because there's so many so what i can do is actually maybe do a video and put everything all together all in one so that i can answer all of your comments or questions that you have comment down below let me know if that's something you guys would want to see thank you so much for everything guys i love you always have an amazing day Mwah. bye